state's agreeing to dismiss counts two and three, and he would plead to a lesser included charge under count one, a sell, manufacture, deliver, uh, with intent to sell. Uh, that would be an F2. He would be sent to 24 months probation, withhold uh, adjudication, court cost, no trespass at captain's quarters, no drugs not prescribed, random UAs during the supervision, maintain gainful employment or two job applications a week, or show proof of full-time school, no contact with co-defendants, no That aren't related to him, Your Honor. I do believe one of the co-defendants is yeah. a cousin. Two of the co-defendants are his cousins, so no contact with defendants that are not related. <laughs> And Your Honor, this will be a guideline sentence. Tell the court that he did not score over 44 points after. The council approach. Yes. Hello, this is Chris Norman at Bulldog Bail Bonds. Our office is in Crestview, Florida, but we service seven Northwest Florida counties. If you ever find yourself in a jam, please give us a call. We're here to help you out. Congratulations, Crestview's very own Dixie Dan Powell of Powell Injury Law for your recent jury verdict of $11.5 million for your client from a death and injury against an inflatable amusement company. Recognized in 2017 as one of the top 100 civil trial lawyers in the state of Florida, and Dixie is AV preeminent rated. Dixie Dan Powell works tirelessly for his clients, as is evident by this extraordinary verdict. If you're taking your case to trial, be prepared. Contact Dixie Dan Powell and Powell Injury Law. 850-306-26. Where or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Sorry. I'm sorry? Sorry. Sort of? No, I said I swear. You swear. Um, I think the lesser included, we need to get a statutory site. It's going to be 893. Hold on a second. Oh. The clerk, for the clerk's benefit. Yes, Your Honor. It's going to be 893.13, and that's going to be 1A1, Your Honor. Is that correct? I haven't looked it up, Judge. You want to look it up? Because they just announced it on the, on the record. Is there, is there going to be an adjudication of guilt on this case or not? It's adjudication of guilt. Mark or accident? Yes. 893 And this is a withhold? Yes, Your Honor, it's a withhold. So, Mr. Pride, you heard 
your attorney state the terms of the plea agreement, dismiss counts two and three, lesser included sale, manufacturing, delivery with intent. Yes, Your Honor. You understand that by entering this plea agreement here today, no. you're waiving the right to go to a trial to contest all this. Sir. Force the state to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. This will be a final adjudication of this matter. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe this is in your best interest to do this? Yes, Your Honor. Have you had all of your legal questions answered? Yes, Your Honor. Have you read this closely? I see you've signed it. I just want to make sure you've read the plea agreement closely. I read it to you, Judge. He was in the cave back there. But you feel like you've got all your questions answered and that you understand what this plea agreement means to you from a legal standpoint? Yes, Your Honor. And you believe it's in your best interest to enter into this plea agreement here today? Yes, Your Honor. Very good. Based upon that testimony, the court will accept the plea agreement. And as stated, the state will is dismissing counts two and three. And count one is being reduced to a lesser included sale manufacturer delivery with intent to sell. And you are sentenced to 24 months of probation. Again, there will be a withhold of adjudication. There will be standard court costs and fees. No trespass at captain's quarters. And, of course, during the probation, no drugs that are not prescribed, UAs, maintain gainful employment or have job applications or be in full-time school. No contact with no defendant, with co-defendants, not related to you. So you have several that are your cousins apparently or related. That doesn't apply to them. But any non-relatives, no contact during the term of the probation. Any questions? No, Your Honor. You do have 30 days to appeal the order. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Owens. Mary Mason. Judge, I'm on. I'm James Owens. I'm appearing on behalf of Mary Mason, who's here before the court. 21 CF 2586. Judge, I believe we need to set this for Thursday, jury review. There's a couple of pretrial matters. I believe the state has filed a motion in limine that need to be heard, and then we need to come to terms on a trial date. Okay. But we can do that on Thursday. Correct. I am listing two witnesses as reciprocal witnesses. One is up in Alabama. We're trying to locate a good address for her. But I plan to be here Thursday. Does my client need to be here as well? I think she does. Okay. Because it's a fundamental right that she be here, and I think you would open yourself to some collateral attacks if she was. Something was done without her seeing it. So, yeah, I believe for her benefit, she needs to be here. She does live in Alabama. She doesn't have a vehicle. Yeah, I'm not doing it. It's not a punishment. It's to protect your rights, honestly. Thank you, Senator. Mr. Lawson. The state will be filing a motion to exclude these witnesses as soon as they are disclosed, since we are three years into this case, and they have suddenly popped up at docket day, and we've teed up for trial. This would be the third time we've teed up for trial. So the state will file a motion to exclude. Okay. We'll deal with that on 418 as well. Make sure to come with some case law. 418 is Thursday at 9 a.m.? Yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Lawson. Okay. I think that's all we've got for the private counsel. Judge, can I run through some of my out-of-custody if we've got? Absolutely. Let's deal with it. You're out of custody, and then Mr. Gates would go next. Sure. Mr. Gates, you're up. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. 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 Thank
Great. I'm going to skip over the people with the waivers as well, Judge. Okay. Um, Jonathan Dodson, number 41 on the docket. He's president approaching. Okay. Judge, if we can just move this to the next pretrial. Um, he's got some reciprocal, and, and I think we will be in a position to either plea or trial next cycle. And that's 23 CF 1719. Very good. The court will continue this till 610 at 9 a.m. Uh, the next one that's not a waiver, uh, Divey Figueroa Diaz, number 44 in the docket. His uh, presence. Judge, um, I think this will probably resolve next cycle. Um, We're back on if you want. You can yes, turn. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. If we can set this for 610, I anticipate we'll probably get a resolution. This is a case where two defendants have. Um, are the victims in each other's cases. So I think uh, we can probably resolve this in 610. Very good. We'll continue this matter until 610 at 9 a.m. Stay in touch with your turn. Uh, the next one is Trevon Fitzgerald, number 45. He's before the court on 23 CF 560 and 23 CF 611. Judge, we had set it for today to have Mr. Fitzgerald uh, contemplate the state's amended offer. Um, we would ask to set this for 610. He's not uh, amenable at this time. Continue this matter for 610 and 9 a.m. I assume it will be uh, last? Um, yes, Judge. That's fine. Okay. So clerk would note in the minutes it'll be the last continuous. Thank you. And Judge, uh, I'll also say that the offer will expire at the next court date. The next one that's out of custody judges here is Wendy Green, number 48 on the docket. Okay. And she's before the court on 23 CF 1997. Judge, um, the state has conveyed PTI. Um, I'm recommending to Ms. Green that she contemplate taking that. Um, if we can set this for the next miscellaneous, um, I'll meet with her in the interim, go over the terms and conditions, and hopefully we'll resolve it on that date. We'll come back <clears throat> on May 16th. We'll continue to May 16th at 9 a.m. Okay, May 16th. Uh, the next out of custody judge is um, Todd Hunt, number 50 on the docket. Judge, we have left this case uh, set for today for status, 23 CF 576. Um, I have met with Mr. Hunt in the interim. He signed a motion to dismiss. I will get that set for a hearing before the court, and so I'd ask to move this for 610. Very good. We'll continue this until 610. Not to be kind of gnarly, why are we doing a motion to dismiss a year into the case? Uh, Judge, we had depositions in this matter, and I think that's what kind of led to this. Triggered that. Yes, sir. So the delay in the depositions triggered that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, the next one, Judge, that's out of custody is Trenton Tucker, number 56. He is before the court on 23 CF 1328. Um, at this time, he's going to withdraw his previously entered plea and enter a plea of no contest. This will be a plea to an amended offense of misdemeanor trespass. Be adjudicated guilty. Be assessed 270 in court costs and $150 cost of defense. This is a plea to a misdemeanor, so there's no scorching. Very good question. State? That's correct. <clears throat> Mr. Tucker, would you raise your right hand, sir? Do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court? <clears throat> it's the truth and nothing but the truth to so help you got. Yes, sir. So you heard your attorney state the terms of the plea agreement. I see those same terms are contained in the written agreement that you've signed. Just want to make sure you've read through this and gone over it in detail with your attorney. Yes, sir. You understand you're waiving the right to go to a trial. This will be a final adjudication of your case. Yes, sir. You believe this is in your best interest to do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Based upon that, the court will accept your plea to the uh, lesser, is it a lesser included or amended offense? I, th amended. I think it might be amended, Judge. I'm not certain. Amended, amended offense of trespass, adjudication of guilt, uh, court cost of 270 and $150 cost of, uh, cost of defense. 
Do we want to put in here that he has uh, 90, 180 days to pay this so he doesn't end up with his driver's license? Judge, the court has brought up a good point that this is actually an amended charge. The state's going to have to file an amended information. Okay. I can file that today, and it will just catch up with this plea agreement. Is that okay with the court? Because I have... That's fine. Okay, I'll do it today. Thank you. You understand what's going on there? The last part was there. Yeah, they, they just have to do it. They're, they're having to formally file something to amend your, your what you're being charged with. So, so it's still the same, the amended offense or trespass. Okay? And there, there will be an adjudication of guilt as to the trespass. Right? Do you understand yes, that? Okay, any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, the next one, Judge, is Jonathan Wallace, number 57 on the docket. He is present approaching before the court on 23 CF 1219. Judge, we're going to continue this, set this for 610. Um, I think this, this will be the last continuance, Judge. Very good. The court will continue this matter and announce last continuance for the clerk. And then, Judge, I, I skipped one person, but if I can go back to Trevion Braxton, number 37 on the docket. Okay. He is present along with his mother and family members. Um, he's before the court on 22 CF 739, 22 CF 2943, and 23 CF 126. I apologize, Judge, I don't have an extra copy, but we are um, entering a plea at this time to some. And I'll just announce for the record. Okay. On 22 CF 739, this will be a, a plea to count two. Count one will be dismissed. On 22 CF 2943, this will be a plea to a lesser included offense of misdemeanor discharge of a firearm in public as to count one, as charged as to count two. And 23 CF 126, it will be a plea to counts one and three. Count two would be dismissed. Um, this will be a plea to the court, um, capped at 36 months, Department of Correct Corrections. Um, we are requesting a PDR in this court. In this case, um, we anticipate um, uh, presenting some mitigation evidence at sentencing and would uh, be hoping to get to youthful offender as a uh, sentence. And, Your Honor, the state is requesting a pre-sentence investigation as well. Okay. Defense okay with the PSI as well. I'm, I'm not requesting a PSI, Judge, but uh, the state is, and I, I'm requesting a PDR. Judge. Okay, I understand that, but I just want to make sure nobody was objecting to either of those. So. I don't think I, I would have denied it anyway, but I want to give you the chance yes, sir. to object. I, just need, we, I think we need them both. Right? Okay. And are you are are you needing? Some extra time with regard to any mitigation evaluation or yes, Judge. For mitigation purposes, I anticipate having to call the doctor um, to present some testimony with respect to the Miller factors. And so I would ask for probably if we could defer sentencing for at least about two months. Okay. Well, let's get through the the colloquy and then we'll we'll set set a time. So, Mr. Braxton, would you raise your right hand, sir? Do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, sir. So, um, you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement. And this plea agreement includes a number of, of counts that were dismissed or reduced, etc. And you heard all those. I see you've signed the written plea agreement that contains in detail the, uh, the plea agreement. Have you gone over this plea agreement? One, have you read this and have you gone over it in detail with your attorney? Make sure you had all your legal questions answered. Yes, sir. This is a little bit of a unique hearing, a, a unique plea because you're, it's basically a plea to the court with a cap. And you had that explained to you. So the most 
that you can receive is 36 months Department of Corrections credit for time served. They always get credit for time served, but that's the maximum you can get now. Whether or not there, those are the same for different charges, the maximum amount you can get would be the 36 months. Yes, Do you sir. understand that? Yes, sir. But obviously, I mean, like only 36 months, the 36 months is significant. But the defense will have the opportunity to plea to the court, opportunity to request less time. And obviously, your attorney would be doing it. But I just want you to understand on what the outside is. Much higher um, maximum sentence, except for this cap. You understand? But for this agreement, it is capped at the 36 months. Is that your understanding of what the agreement is? Yes, sir. But you do understand that this part of the, the, the proceeding, not the sentencing, but this part of the proceeding, the resolution of the case <coughs> is completed here today. You're waiving the right to go to a trial and uh, can't, you know, if you don't like what I sentenced you to ultimately, as long as it's within the bounds here, you can't go, oh, I, didn't, I don't want that. You can't do that. you understand that? Exactly. And importantly, you're also, uh, there's a issue of, uh, of whether or not there's a withhold or an adjudication. That's, that's an important factor for particularly the young adult like yourself. And that's going to be the discretion of the court. you understand that? Yes, sir. That's important. So if you feel like you've got all your legal questions answered by your attorney regarding this plea agreement? Yes, sir. Do you believe this is in your best interest to enter into this plea agreement? Yes, sir. Did anybody threaten or coerce you to get you to enter into this plea agreement? No, sir. Anybody promise you anything other than what's contained in this agreement? No, sir. Very good. Based upon that, the court will accept your plea. And the state, obviously, in agreement. This was the state's agreement, Your Honor. So I'm just going to go through here the uh, as to 22 CF 739 uh, count one is dismissed. You're pleading to count two. 22 CF 2943. You're pleading to the lesser included offense uh, of uh, misdemeanor discharge of a firearm in public as to count one, and you're pleading as charged to count two. And then 23 CF 126, you're playing count one and three. Count two will be dismissed. And again, this will be the total sentence will be capped at 36 months, plus all the fees and costs that are contained. You probably need to put that in there, just standard fees and costs. Sixty or ninety days. What do we think on this? Your Honor, can we please set it for sixty, and then if we need ninety, maybe. That's fine. Why don't we say uh, June eighteenth? June eighteenth. Okay. <coughs> would that be at two thirty? Yes. June eighteenth at two thirty. I think that's all I have, Trustee, that are not waiting. Okay. Very good. Mr. Gates, you want to do your out of custodies and. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'll start with Mr. Rashawn Hampton. Mr. Hampton should be number 76 in the docket. That will be followed by Ken Jacobs, number 77 on the docket. <coughs> Mr. Hampton, come on up. What's your first one again? Rashad. 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 Number 76, Your Honor. Okay, got it. May I approach your plea agreement? You may. It will be to a misdemeanor offense, Your Honor. Um, there will be no need for a score sheet. Do 
you announce the plea? Yes, Your uh, Honor. Mr. Anthony, entering a plea of no contest to the lesser included offense of paraphernalia in count one, as charged in counts two and three, to be adjudicated guilty in all counts. Um, 11 months, 29 days probation, concurrent between all counts. We have the cost of supervision, 463 in court costs, 150 above the offender fee, required to do the first offense at the UI school, victim impact panel, 10 day vehicle impound, which can be waived. Uh, by parole and probation if he can provide proof he doesn't own a vehicle. $500 fine, 50 hours of community service work, substance abuse eval within 30 days, recommend treatment with 60, random urinalysis, and then one NA narcotic, narcotics anonymous of meeting per week for the first three months. Safe. That's fine, Judge. Very good. Mr. Hampton, would you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm that the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay. So you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement, and I see those same terms are contained in the written plea agreement that you've signed. Yes, Did sir. you read this closely? Yes, sir. And go over it in detail with your attorney? Yes, sir. Make sure you understand that by entering into this plea agreement here today, you're waiving the right to go to a trial. This will be a final resolution of this case. Yes, sir. Is that what you believe is in your best interest? And you have had all your legal questions answered? Yes, Nobody sir. threatened or coerced you to get you to enter into the plea? Of course not. Very good. Based upon that, the court will accept your plea. It will be adjudication of guilt on all three counts. Uh, count one will be the lesser, uh, not lesser, but a, a possession of paraphernalia as opposed to the possession of a controlled substance. Yes, and the court will sentence the defendant to 11 months, 29 days of probation in each of the three counts. They'll all be served concurrent. So they'll all be at the same time. So single 1129. Waive the cost of supervision. You got standard court cost and fees. Must attend DUI school, victim impact panel, 10 day in vehicle impound which could be waived, provide proof. If you provide proof you don't own the vehicle, you've got a $500 fine, 50 hours of community service, substance abuse evaluation within 30 days, recommended treatment starting in 60, random UAs, first uh, NA, UA, NA meetings, one a week for the first three months of probation. So, Make sure and follow up all this. Go over all the details with your probation officer and follow up closely so you can stay out of trouble. Thank you. Okay? Thanks. Right, the last out of custody I've got is going to be Kenneth Jacobs. I think he's number 77 on the docking counter. Okay. You know, we left Mr. Jacobs as a status. This time we're going to ask the court to continue his case to the June 12th docket. About the June 10th. June 10th would be perfect too, Your Honor. And this is uh, obviously a brand new case, so we'll continue until 6, 10, and 9 a.m. Sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, a few out of custody. Uh, Shannon L. Allman. Hey, Allman. Does the court need docket numbers? I well, yeah, I mean, I've got them here, but. Uh, 23 CF 2805. Yes, okay. Your Honor, uh, when we, when I asked to bring her back on DACA day, a plea was anticipated. She's uh, not ready to enter the plea today. Um, I've uh, indicated she can meet with me again. I do not intend to file a motion to suppress based on my understanding of the situation. She may decide to get a private lawyer. Um, we're not not getting along or anything, but I've told her that's my position. So I'm not saying we need a continuance <clears throat> as if it would benefit her, but she does ask for a continuance because she, she's not ready to do the deal. I do ask the state to please keep the offer open till the next free trial. This yes. is Ms. Allman. Yes. Thank you. We'll continue this matter until 6, 10 at night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, next is uh, Bergeron, James R. Bergeron. And we have a plea agreement, Your Honor.
just pour, pulling out the score sheet, Your Honor. Oh, Ms. Giardina is going to go into sign. We've already been through it. Sign. I did not write as charged, but that is as charged um, on counts one and two. One year co uh, concurrent community control, a GPS monitor at the lowest permissible rate, uh, 515 court costs, 150 PD fees. The defendant can have contact with his child. Uh, the initials of the child are in the agreement and the date of birth. And uh, the defendant also does not need to repeat sex offender treatment program. And is the defense okay with this portion? Yes, Your Honor. Right. The downward departure? Yes. Yes, Your Honor, it's a downward departure based on the legitimate agreement. Mr. Bertrand, would you raise your right hand, sir? Do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court as the truth and nothing but the truth, so I hope you got Yes, I do. Okay. So you heard the terms of the plea agreement that your attorney stated, and I see that those same terms are in the written plea agreement that you've signed. Yes, I just sir. want to make sure you've read this and gone over it in detail with your attorney. Yes, sir. And you believe this is in your best interest to enter into this plea agreement here? Yes, sir. You understand that by entering into this, you're waiving some valuable legal rights, the right to go to a trial, force the state to prove their case, and all that. Yes, sir. Okay. And you understand that uh, uh, to by entering into this, trying to think here whether does this alter the current state as far as contact is there current what is the current no contact? your honor I think that there's um, a, a uh, general practice to require no contact with children right um, but this we expressly wanted to um, be able to have an exception for his child that he's under uh, he's able to have contact with and okay. so we wanted to ex he wanted to expressly make sure okay well, there, uh, it doesn't change the status quo in any way you're allowed to have I work and go home you honor that's all I do man <laughs> okay very good so nobody threatened of course you get you to enter into the plea no sir okay based upon that the court will accept your plea there'll be an adjudication of guilt on, on both counts, there'll be one year of concurrent community control. So it'll be uh, basically uh, concurrent. So it'll basically be served at the same time. So it's a total of one year. GPS monitor, standard fees and costs, and you can't have contact with your child. It's got the date of birth here. No need to repeat sex offender treatment program. Okay? Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. 30 days to uh, appeal. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Next is uh, uh, Philip R. Dawn, D A H N, 22 CF 
Your Honor, uh, Mr. Dawn is before the court in 22 CF 1616. We have a uh, agreement that um, is worked out, uh, but there is a, an issue of the thousand foot rule and um, Officer Shelton has kindly run the program and it seems to catch uh, part of a park and I'm trying to document what the reality is. If that's a stormwater management area that's totally fenced off, I might have some sort of an argument or something to discuss that further with, uh, with state probation. So before he does a deal, the last thing I wanted him to do was do a deal that would get him in trouble the next, the very next day. With him. That's where he lives? As yes, well. Judge. He's lived, his mother's with him. He's lived at home with his mother and two siblings for a very, for a long time. And uh, it, it's gonna be uh, a major hardship. Um, change that, but the law is the law. We just wanna make sure we know what the facts are. There's no flexibility on that requirement? No, Your Honor, our understanding is that is requirement by the law and probation must enforce it. It's in the law, I mean, I've looked at the definitions. They're, uh, I'm familiar with the, uh, the language of the statute and I simply want to be able to document what the facts are and advise him the best I can. How far out do you want to do this? Uh, we don't need a very long continuance, Judge, but we could do a full cycle, but I don't think it's really necessary if the court has an earlier date. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it, you know, May, how about May 16th, a month from now? That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And the offer will, of course, remain open based on that. Thank you. So it'll be May 16th at 9 a.m. Okay. You got that now? Right now for you. Yeah, sure. Your Honor, if I may. You may. Um, I, if, by what I've seen, this does not meet the thousand foot rule, and so that will be enforced immediately upon sentencing. So they may wish to come up with a plan on the come the next sentencing date, because that will be an immediate. Uh, that yes, just the way the way I would anticipate. May I respond? Sure. To that? sure. Uh, that's all. That was one of the reasons why we were bringing him back on docket day, but they couldn't reach out. Now they're in touch with with Officer Shelton. I'm simply going to document what the status quo is, and if I can make a, an argument that's um, that. Who are you going to make the argument to? Well, that's that's another that's another issue. Um, but uh, if it if there sounds there's, like the probation isn't going to be looking for my guidance. Okay. Well, I, I if I can figure out some way to address it with the court, not that they wouldn't want to, yeah. of course, but they. they. Yeah, I, I and I, I don't want to go through the argument here. It's not necessary to I'm burden thinking. the court with it, or and I don't want to. I'm, but but. There is a statutory definition that sure. I've given. I want to know in good faith what the facts are as no. it relates to that. And if there's an issue that- and You're doing it perfect. You're getting it, we're putting it on the right. table. We're trying to figure out where it's at before we but, do it. But the officer is also saying, it's a very, the mom needs to be mindful, Mr. Don needs to be mindful that, and I've already told them that this doesn't look very good right now, uh, but, well, we can we're come back on May 16th to see, see whether yeah. we resolve it. Yes. Thank you. May have an impact on whether or not he... Yes. yes. And I don't want to burden the court with the argument, but sure. I, I, there's I'm enough sure. there for me to want to investigate it. So. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, I have one more, Judge. Sorry. Judge I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Steve, Jeremy Wayne Dixon. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to ask for continuance on this one. He's not ready to sign. Uh, okay. I just gave him the offer this morning. Okay. All right. We'll leave it open. Your Honor, Steve Medina with Jeremy Wayne Dixon, 22 CF 2061. Um, I've been um, seeking in the state late last week. Did, did, I very much appreciate an offer that we had been seeking um, that met some of the uh, requests uh, substantially met the request that I had that I thought would lead to a deal. However, Mr. Dixon is having hesitation, having seen the 
the offer that was actually put forward. So I'm asking to continue this uh, to, I guess, May 16th, if the court will do that. I don't know that we need to do a full cycle on this one either. So, But I'm sorry, she has so many words. But the reality is, is he... I can't. I don't want. Do not want to pressure him. He may want to go to trial, so we probably just ought to keep him on. For I think we ought to do a full cycle and just yeah, do a full that cycle, and he has one last chance. If you'll leave it open to the next pre-trial, I'll leave it open until pre-trial. But if at pre-trial, if you don't take it, the states sounds like it's going to yank the off. Mm -hmm. okay, and then so we'll be ready for trial. Know, you'll know you need, you're going to trial next cycle if you don't take this deal with the attendant risks of that. And if the clerk would note that in a minute. Right. Okay, we'll come back on 6, 10, and 9 a.m. Okay. Sorry, my, my, my flare pen is running out of ink, Judge, but no, hopefully. I wait until I get to court to be my pen for a Thank you. All right, Ms. Farkas. Yes, Your Honor, I have only one concern. Only one? <laughs> well, everyone else is in custody, so you'll see plenty of me in a few minutes. Um, I have only one out-of-custody client. He's not here. I had waived his, waived his appearance. I was hoping that um, we would be able to reach an agreement today. Who sorry, sorry, sorry. Stephen Fickert, F-I-C-K-E-R-T. What's that say again? Fickert. Fickert. 2023 CF2246. Um, I've gotten an updated offer. I think the state and I are, we are closer to working something out. Um, so if we could have, I don't know if you want. This is a relatively new case. We'll continue it to 610. Let's okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Cycle. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's the only out of custody I have. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you say, Mr. Harper? You want to do a couple more? We'll break for lunch now. It's 10 till. It's up to you all. I'm, I'm willing to do a couple more. Any any other out of Your Honor, here? I don't know if the public defender inmates are up here where we can reach him. So we're kind of at a stopping point without our inmates. I've got all of them. Judge, I can call one, Mr. Callahan. Okay, and then we'll, we'll break for lunch. Uh, do we have mine? My one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you come back? Yes. Yeah. Right. He's number 40 on the docket, Tremont Coward. Okay. Judge, I've spoken with the states. Um, can we, can we approach them? Yeah. Six, seven. Back Home Bakery Cafe is two blocks from the courthouse on its Crestview's historic Main Street. We serve handmade pastries, espresso, and lunch items. And we're open Tuesday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., serving lunch from 11 to 2. We hope to see you soon. Hello, I am Bonnie from Bonnie Be Healthy here in Crestview. We have been serving the area since 1999. We're an alternative health food store. If you're interested in uh, bettering your health, we'd like to invite you to stop by. We're located in Court Plaza. Stop by and let us help you be healthy. I'm Amanda Gaskin with Briar Patch Realty. Helping qualified heroes save money is my passion. When I help a hero buy or sell a home, they receive a check from Homes for Heroes. Check out amandasheroes.com for more information. For more than 70 years, the sweet aroma of the Crestview's Coney Islands burgers and hot dogs has permeated the downtown area. If you have not experienced the unique flavor of Crestview's Coney Island's burgers and hot dogs, then I encourage you to join us for lunch. Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m., Friday from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., and Saturday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. We'll continue this matter for a full cycle, but we're anticipating the scheduling of the VOP. We'll keep this on for 610, just kind of keep it on, on the schedule. Thank you, Josh. Okay. Are we good for lunch? 
break for lunch. Okay, we will come back at uh, 1.30.